Well, do you have some wine bottles or corks you've been wanting to reuse, but you just don't know how? Up next, some very clever and interesting ways to reuse them, including keeping your plants fresh. We'll show you how when we come back. Well, if you have some leftover wine bottles and corks from all of those crazy holiday parties, don't toss them out because there's so many ways to reuse them and to show us how a few crafty ideas, I'm going to call them the craft king, Ray Del Muro, right? Because I'm the queen, you're the king. Get nice, it? Okay. I like it. Anyway, of Refresh Glass, welcome, and I love all of these great ideas. Thank you so much. Okay, but you're, this is, you're not a crafty guy originally. You were, what were you earlier? I was an engineer for an aerospace <laughs> company. Really? And, you, and instead of thinking about aerospace, you've been thinking about corks. Right. I wanted to find a way to combine the passion of art and the structure of engineering to form something that helps the community at the same time. You know what? This is a brilliant idea, Ray. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show everybody, show everybody at home because you've created a company based just on that. It's called Refresh Glass. And what you do is you, you, you not only recycle them, but you make them functional. Absolutely. We make crafts self-watering planters, and glasses in a few different sizes, uh, in addition to some other decorative items. Now, how, how does this self, how does this self-planter work? Sure. This is kind of interesting. Yeah, I wanted to find a way to use the entire bottle. Uh -huh. So this is the top half inverted in the bottom half, oh, and a brilliant. string extends up into the soil, watering it for about up to two weeks. This is a great idea. Great, great idea. Okay, and so you can just fill this up and let it go for, gosh, like you said, two weeks. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> All right. Some of the other ideas, when besides recycling the glass, you're also recycling the corks, and these are really cool. What what is that sphere? We down are. This there? is a sphere that we got from a craft store that we just used a hot glue gun to put the corks on it to make a sphere ball. So that is like a styrofoam ball under there. Exactly. Or? Oh, okay. Exactly. Okay. It's a four-inch ball. Oh, okay. And this is a neat idea, making initials. Yeah, this is fun. We made this for you this weekend for for Sonoran Living. So these letters uh -huh. are commonly available at your local craft store. Absolutely, and you just glue it right on there. And, and now you're using reusing everything, even the labels. Exactly. And I see that you decoupaged a frame there with some I did, wine I did. Labels. Those are my beautiful sisters. And so I wanted to find a creative way to decorate the frame. I love this idea. Okay, here's yet one more idea, trivets, and just a myriad of, of different sizes. And do you have to even some of them out or? You know what? Corks are commonly, they only come in about two or three different sizes, so okay. I just picked a few that were all the same size just to make it easier. Okay, and you just use a, sing, a simple hoop like this? Yep. That's so, the industrial look, and yep, that's an embroidery hoop. It is. Yeah. It is all commonly available at your local start, and it couldn't be any easier to put together. Okay, so you're going to show us real quick then how to make these. These are um, really super cute coasters, okay, and we're just starting with a little piece of cork. Right, and these are also available at the local craft store. They okay. come in packages of four. They're only a couple bucks. Okay, so what do we do? Okay. So what I've done is I've, I've cut corks along the length, mm -hmm. and I used four of them. Each okay. coaster requires four. And then we take our super glue mm -hmm. that you could find at your hardware store mm -hmm. or at your craft store, uh -huh. and then we start to place them so in gonna, a pattern like so. You're going to start right in the corner. In the I edge, like to start right in the away, corner because right? you're going to end up with small slivers on these two sides mm -hmm. that we're going to cut off with our razor blade. Oh, okay. And I like the fact, like on this one here, you, you have these two that match, but you can kind of mix them up and you oh, can absolutely. do whatever you want, right? Absolutely. Um, then the, and then what you did afterwards is after you put them all on, let's just lay them out real quick sure. so you can kind of see. Because what's going to happen is that you're going to have some more, you're going to have some room left over. Exactly. Like right, you know, right here, this edge and then another edge. Because you don't want to cut more corks like no. in quarters. So what do you, you just trim it? Exactly. That is so really cool. So we take a straight edge like this mm -hmm. and then we just gently cut around the edges. Mm -hmm. And after the glue sets, you will have beautiful coaster for your home. Now, this is this is a really neat, I, I bet your packaging is even recyclable, right? Of course. <laughs> okay, where can people find these? We have our products at all five Whole Foods locations in the Valley, okay. in addition to Practical Art, which is on Central and Camelback. Because it, it really is art. It was just a really clever way of, of reusing wine bottles. So, Ray, thank you very much for, you for sharing your ideas and, and good information. Of course, we have more information on sonoranliving.com.